What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command with another FAFO file. Gentlemen, the belligerence of the modern woman truly knows no age or bounds. Now, we all know where I personally stand in regards of the act of spitting on someone. Launch, spit, get hit. There's nothing else that needs to be said after you spit on someone. And it's typically women who are going around spitting on people because they believe in their feeble minds that the other person is not going to react. Now, there was a story a couple of years ago of two women who were arguing in a parking lot and one woman actually spat on the other woman. And the woman who got spat on came back and shot that woman dead in front of her children. Now, do I believe it should have escalated to that point? No. However, ladies, you need to understand this. When you spit on someone, how that person reacts is completely out of your hands. Like the woman in this article that was published on the 10th of June. Fired Colorado officer accused of punching handcuffed woman who allegedly spat on him. Do I think this man should have been fired? No, I truly do not. Do I think he should have been placed on leave? Yes. Anger management? Yes. Fired? No. A Loveland, Colorado police officer was fired after allegedly punching a handcuffed woman who appeared to spit on him in a hospital examination room, authorities said. In body camera footage from the May 20th incident shared Friday by the Loveland Police Department, the woman curses at Officer Russell Moranto as she is escorted to a chair. She is heard calling the officer names, including a piece of shit. When the officer takes a piece of paper from her hand, she becomes angrier. Hey, fucking give it back to me, you fucking piece of shit, she says. Hey, I can have it. Why can't I have the piece of paper? The video shows the woman identified as Angelia Hall, 59, spit toward the floor while she continues to demand they return the piece of paper to her. She continues to yell before spitting at the officer. See that right there? Once she crossed that line, whatever happened, happened. In the video, Moranto strikes the woman in the face. A second officer intervenes and steps between the two. The woman screams that she wants video of the officer allegedly hitting her. Quote, unquote, he fucking punched me in the face, she yells. I want video of that. I didn't touch him. My hands are handcuffed. I can't even fight back. That should have been the first thought that went through your pea brain before you decided to launch your bodily fluids at the officer. Now we all know in certain jurisdictions, if you spit on a police officer, that is considered assault. In a video statement Friday, police chief Tim Doran praised the second officer for stepping in and said that the officers were quote unquote, verbally harassed by excessive profanity and periodic racial slurs. Now that right there, in my humble opinion, is where I have to call a spade a spade. Mr. Moranto appears like he might be Latino. 
So, in my humble opinion, Mr. Moranto should file a wrongful termination suit, especially if the police chief is willing to acknowledge the fact that they were victims of racial slurs. And the fact that that woman felt comfortable in spitting on him, yeah, in my humble opinion, Mr. Moranto did not overreact. He said a supervisor was called to the examination room and the incident was immediately reported. Quote, unquote, Loveland, our police department is filled with brave, respectful, and honorable public servants, and we all agree inappropriate conduct will never be tolerated or downplayed by our department, he said. The district attorney's office is still considering criminal charges against Moranto, 28. Police said Hall was charged with third degree assault, police said. At the time of the incident, Moranto had been with the department for less than a year. It's not clear if he has an attorney, attorney, excuse me, who can speak on his behalf. The police union did not immediately return a request for comment on Saturday. Hall could not be contacted. Well, well, well. I'm going to give this FAFO file a score of six. Now, once again, in my humble opinion, the fact that he had not been on the force for a long time, and I have to call it the fact that he was possibly a Latino man, might have been two of the reasons why he was actually fired. But in my humble opinion, he should not have been fired. Placed on administrative leave? Yes. Given anger management courses? Yes. But in my humble opinion, they jumped the gun on this. Now, we all know, we all know, far too many women have become way too belligerent and society continues to try to turn a blind eye to that. Now, like I said, ladies, when you spit on someone, what that person decides to do to you, hey, it is what it is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, and make sure to check out the comment section on this article. There are far more agreements with the officer than there are women or should I say people, saying that this woman is a victim. Yeah, far too many people spitting on them. That's a line that should not be crossed. And for you women out there who think that you can actually do this act and not have some form of retaliation happen to you, you need to understand this and understand it clearly. The power you think you have in this society is definitely going out. Feminism and the idea that men are going to continue to restrain themselves, especially after being spat on, is going out right along with it. Trust and believe, ladies. You spit on someone, that person might fuck around and beat you down. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.